Another thing you should be uh, aware of is the weather, uh, the weather in the place you're going to be staying. So just check if it's going to rain a lot, or if it's going to be uh, very sunny, or if it's going to snow or whatever, because you have to prepare yourself and your clothes for that. So always be aware of the weather. I mean, you don't have to go insane either with that. Just check what's the weather like in whatever city you're visiting or country and that's a good indication of how of what of what to wear it tells you you have to uh, maybe take an umbrella uh, instead of buying an umbrella in the place which can be very annoying and what yes don't don't uh, waste time on things that you shouldn't waste time in, in, in when you're traveling i mean there are things that are just so stupid that you you, you just can do uh, beforehand, so save yourself that time. And yes, if you have to take an umbrella, if you have to uh, be wear more shorts than uh, long pants, if you have uh, you know any kind of thing, check the weather before you travel. I was uh, saying something about eating before, and this tip is about uh, be careful where you eat actually. Because yes, I mean, if you have money to spend, <laughs> that's great. And normally you don't really have to, you know, like be too careful of where you eat. Because if you have money, you just go to nice restaurants where, where there are a lot of people, which is normally an indication of something good. And you just sit there and that's, that's it. I mean, it's probably the best. Uh, in those cases, if you have money, be aware of what you eat, not where you eat, but what you eat, because you know some foods that maybe you're not very um, familiar with can be very, very awful to your stomach if you're not, uh, you know, familiar with them. So uh, you know, like spicy foods or maybe um, like uh, like pickled foods or something like that. Uh, check first. Uh, ask first uh, if you don't know what the words mean. I mean, if it's another language, or e even if it's the same language, ask people uh, what that uh, dish is and what it contains and what there is in there because I think it's important to know beforehand uh, to know uh, if you're going to be sick or something. So, yeah. Uh, if you don't have so much money and if you eat like on the street every single time. I mean, I've seen many tourists here and they all eat like in the afternoon like a sandwich that they buy in a whole store. And I think that's fine, but after a while it's not very healthy. And I think it's better to properly eat in a restaurant. So if you enter, at, uh, if you don't have a lot of money, that's a limited amount of restaurants. So I would advise you to walk a lot and walk around and always um, try to remember the restaurants that you see on your way and the prices and what they offer and that way you can do like a little map in your mind and it, it, you are going to add every single restaurant you see, every single thing you see on that map and that will come in handy whenever you feel like eating. So we'll, so we'll just say you start your day at, I don't know, 10 a.m. and at 6 p.m. you're really hungry, but you remember that on the way up to the museum on that morning you saw this place that uh, sold, uh, I don't know, Turkish food. And it looked really good and it was really not expensive. So if you remember that place and you remember that it was like clean, it was with people, it was seemed really nice, so you know that you can go back there and just eat there. And I, I think that's a very important thing to do because you just don't want to eat just in the first place you see, because normally that's not a very good way to choose a place to eat. I don't care if you're traveling or not. So yes, be very careful with what you eat and where you eat. If you don't know the language of the place you are visiting, try, I mean, some people buy dictionaries and translate, I mean, 
uh, like guides where there are uh, words that are transla translated <laughs> normally, depending on where that is, that can go really great or really wrong because you might not have the accent, so people might think you're going, you're just insulting their language, so that's not really great. So just um, hear what people are, uh, I would, I, I, I always, every time I travel, I just hear what people do, I just see what people do, and, and, and check on that, and I know then how to act myself. So just wander around and hear what people are saying, and if they talk a lot of English, you know that, yes, maybe it's better to speak in English than try to speak the local language. And in other places, they prefer that you speak at least a little bit or just try to speak in the local language. So in those cases, it, it's better for you to just check online on the, I mean, there's Google Translator in phones now, so you can check, oh, how do you say beer in French? Or how do you say, I don't know, sausage in German, <laughs> whatever. So you, you can have that and then people uh, in some places really are grateful that you try and talking in their language and that's great and in other places they don't really like you to try they're just fine with you uh, saying it in English so yeah, check on that uh, if it's beforehand it's better but you can check on that just by on the first day just walking around and yeah, I think that's the best talking about walking around uh, I know people love to uh, buy things and you know like memorabilia or you know souvenirs and stuff right off the bat but I always do exactly the opposite I just wait to the last day uh, that I am on whatever city I'm in or whatever country I'm in and in that day I will go buy the souvenirs I do the same thing, the same thing I commented with the food, I do with the souvenirs. I just check on the prices, I check on what they have a little bit everywhere, and the last day I just remember where I saw the cheapest um, thing. I mean, because souvenirs, like those souvenirs that they sell everywhere, like the, the magnets for the refrigerator, or like, you know, the same things that are everywhere, you will, you will, it's better if you just pay for the cheapest one because they are all cheap. I mean, that's why they sell those everywhere. So it's better if you just buy the cheapest ones. So always look for, I mean, in European cities, for example, they always sell the same things. So just find the cheapest thing because they are all the same quality, which is not very good. So, so just buy, so just uh, like, do some scouting, ju ju just wander around and check for the cheapest prices, the best places where there are most, there are more people buying because that's always very good. And maybe if you are going to, to spend a little more, in order to, to check like what are the like, uh, particular souvenirs, like strange things that you wouldn't find anywhere else, it's better if you walk around and just, uh, you know, have it in your mind, do a map in your mind too about the souvenirs and then in the last day you know that you have to go to this market for uh, this souvenir you saw that's adorable and the t-shirt that you want is in this place only and you just make the best choices and the best decisions and you know how to spend your money. Actually, my last tip is about money. Just because you have a lot of money to spend doesn't mean you have to spend it on anything. Even if you have a lot of money to spend on a vacation, on a holiday, just uh, spend it wisely. Because that way you will have money to spend on other things that are uh, better, you know, that, 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 that makes sense. So uh, always spend, spend the right amount of money in souvenirs, in transportation, in, in, I mean, if you plan everything, as, I, as I've said, not like a crazy person, but, you know, informing yourself about the place and, like, respecting the place you're going to go. I, I think that's, I mean, that's another tip 
inside this step, but always respect the people and the place as it, as it is that you're going to visit, wherever that is. I mean, I think people, some people, more young people than others, uh, when they travel, they don't really respect the place where they are going, and they don't really give a shit about, them, about that. I mean, many, uh, lots of young people, and not so young people, go to certain places only to like uh, find company and to drink a lot. That and that's the only thing that they are uh, doing there. And sometimes when they are a little bit sober, or after they have they have had a lot of drinks, they may go to a museum or something like that. But they are not respecting the place. That, uh, in that way, and I think it's it's really important if you actually are interested in wherever you, you you go. I mean, even if it's only a beach holiday, respect the, the place, throw your garbage in a um, in a little bag, and throw that back in your hotel. Don't uh, throw shit in the in the ocean or in the mountains or in the beach. Uh, be respectful with the people respect their traditions, if they are different than yours, I mean, it's the basics. I, 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 I just respect other people, because it, not because they live in a, another country with other, um, let's say, rules, it doesn't mean that you shouldn't um, respect them, so I think that's a must. And, and money-wise, just Count your money. I mean, I mean, um, this is mainly directed to students that travel. Just be intelligent with the money you spend. If you know uh, the pri the right prices, the cheapest prices for uh, the places that you want to visit, maybe you will have more money to spend on um, yummy food, or in great souvenirs, or in whatever you want to spend that money on. So I think that if you inform yourself. It's, uh, you will have the best traveling experience there can be. So those are my tips for traveling, not only in Europe, but in Asia and in the Americas and, where, and Africa and wherever. Just be uh, informed of uh, what's going on in the place you are going to go, uh, be informed of the currency, be informed of the language, be informed of the traditions of the people, how to greet someone, uh, not to greet someone, and yeah, I mean, respect and is the first thing you should have in mind wherever you're traveling, and even if it's in your own country, you should have that in mind. So those are my tips of, for traveling, that's my video for today, thank you so much.